I've had a moment of realization speaking to my two friends, uh, Sumaya Hassan and Millie Ungoy from Sorry Dory. And I'm sharing my truth because I believe that I'm not the only one who has this as a black person. And that is my challenge or my previous challenges with racism. So as a black person, as a black woman, I am a target for racism. So that's, that's, that's real. But every time something happens, a, a racist incident happens, either in the UK, in the US, wherever it may be, I have found time and time again that I shielded myself. I did not engage. And I'm not going to apologize for any tears that come forth from this, but I did not engage. I did not pay, give it my time and attention because I have struggled with what to do with that rage in that it left me feeling so immobilized so immobilized that I didn't that I found it that immobility and that level of rage was so unhealthy for me that I learned to just blanket it so something would happen I would not engage I would not watch the videos I would not read the comments I would just blanket out and some of you who have watched the honesty talk episode on racism and you thought Linka is just like whack like why she why doesn't she get mad with racism is because when I get mad I don't know what to do I get so consumed that actually that rage hasn't allowed I, I have I hadn't learned how to channel it and I wonder it made me wonder how many other black people who seem apathetic to racism are actually experiencing the same thing that we just don't know what to do like what can we do with institutionalized racism with racism that goes so deep and goes so so back in time to feel like I don't know how I can break this. I don't know how I can make change with this situation. And so for many of us, that you, some of you who have seen us as being passive and being silent and being like we don't care and dismissive, don't, don't get it twisted. It's not that. It's actually a feeling of hopelessness and a feeling of not knowing, no, not knowing what to do wanting change deeply wanting to have a society where your child can walk the streets and feel safe knowing that they aren't being looked at in a different demeanor and with a different in a different way because of this color of the skin tell me what black parent doesn't want that of course every black person wants that but some of us have struggled with that that feeling of being immobile and that feeling of not knowing what to do. And I'm sharing this so that some of you who are in this same situation can own up to your truth that you also feel have felt helpless and that you have also felt immobilized. And you have also felt with at such a, a deep level of despair that you don't know where to or how to channel it it's important for us as black people to own that as our internal challenge and to rectify that and to start working on it so i'm sharing my truth so that you anyone who's watching this who is black can start to own your truth too and i'm saying this i don't i still haven't I'm still navigating the how and what to do, but I know for sure that I have entered into a space that I am not fearful of speaking about racism. I am not scared of my own rage. I, <laughs> I am not, I don't, I don't have a concern of how it is actually perceived. See me as an angry black woman. I don't care how you perceive me and my hurt and my pain and my trauma as a black woman to what's happening to my people regardless of if they're in the United States or wherever they may be but the fact that we melanated human beings are deemed as less human as less worthy as less beautiful as less than full stop is enough for me to be upset 
And I will not apologize for it. I will not apologize for it. And I want to say, any of you folk out there who aren't black, if any of you have asked yourself or have uttered, do black people think that they're the only people suffering or the only people who have been oppressed, I want you to move from my space. I do not want you as part of my community. I can't. I can't. Because that is so dismissive. It is so dismissive to say that your problems aren't as big as so, so, so. No, 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 no. You don't walk on the street. You don't walk on the street and have your life in danger as a non-black person. Okay? Let's just be real. Okay? Your, the color of your skin, anything closer to whiteness than my shade or any other and a brown shade, right? Leaves us as a target for discrimination, for mistreatment and for, for murder. Let's call it what it is. If there's anyone here who listens to this, watches this and says that black people don't have a right to be oppressed, um, to be angry, that we should get over it, <laughs> that, we sh that we should get over it, that we should be grateful for like th that, especially for those of us who aren't being attacked, that we should be grateful that we aren't being attacked. Listen, listen, this is collective pain. And if you hold on to that premise, it was nice knowing you. It was nice knowing you before I knew that of you. Okay. I do not want to hear, see that mess here in my space at all. I will not tolerate it. I will absolutely not tolerate it. Just because it's not your truth and it's not your pain. You don't have a right to say that someone hasn't got a right to feel pain. So miss me with that mess. I will not have that in my space, in my, in my vicinity. And I do not care if you don't like me as a result of what I'm saying. Because especially, uh, I see it a lot in the Muslim sphere. A lot in the Muslim sphere. Why do you always have to make it about race? Why do you have to... Listen. Listen. Miss me with that. I... I mm, mm -mm. Nah. No. Mm -mm. I, I, don't, I don't care. I don't care if I'm not popular. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care if... I do not... I do not... I do not care. Truly. Truly. Because you are, it's dismissive, it's insensitive, and it's just erasure. It's erasure of fact. It is fact that as a black person, we are mistreated and we are discriminated against. Even in the Muslim community. Even in the Muslim community. Don't tell me about Bilal. Don't tell me about uh, black people from history. Don't tell me about them. Because they were great people, right? But you know if Bilal was here today you would treat him some sort of way don't tell me about how he was and that mm -mm, i'm not here for that i'm not here for that because the truth is that that racism exists in the muslim community and it's high time that we addressed it for reals and it's high time we looked inward inward in ourselves it's high time we checked ourselves checked our heart if you have a closeness to whiteness right there are privileges that you have that a black person doesn't have. And it's important for you to check yourself inside and check your privileges because it is real. I am not apologizing for anyone who might be offended by this at all. Okay. Alhamdulillah. I have the ability to, to speak my truth. And I came to speak my truth about my struggles around racism and handling my own rage and feeling that my rage is bigger than what I can handle. Um, but I'm honoring, I'm honoring myself and I'm honoring how I feel and I'm honoring my worries for my children. I'm going to honor that. I'm not going to do that thing where I would minimize myself because I was scared of what that rage would turn into. I'm learning to channel it in a way that I hope will be beneficial, that I hope will bring about some benefit. Change, I don't know, but benefit, I'm hoping, right? Maybe awareness. 
if that's if that's the least that I can do then I'm going to do that right and if anyone is this this is uncomfortable deal with it <laughs> honestly deal with it I'm not going to apologize for how I feel and I'm not going to apologize for how my people feel and this isn't a division thing let us not be silly out here this is not about division it's about actually coming back to truth that we should not be having divisions in the first place okay so some people are like oh but talking about race is divisive it's divisive no 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 it's not it's about fixing our mess we need to fix our mess okay and if we don't talk about it we won't fix the mess so we talk about it to fix the mess okay um if anyone takes any benefit from this, alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm all praises due to the most high and I'm grateful. If people offended, deal with that offense. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I am going to roll out. All right. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.